Hi, this is Sarah. Today is Wednesday, August 27th. This is day 18 for my challenge. Um, I'm having a really good day. It's been a great week so far, and I'm excited just to share with you a little bit about my day and what went on today. So, um, first of all, I did not receive any calls from marketing. I did not, oh, I'm sorry, I did add two people to my contact list. I set two appointments and made a few calls and left messages, and I'm hoping to hear back from people before the night is over. Um, I did not do any presentations or do any customer follow-ups, 48-hour follow-ups. I did do um, a couple of customer follow-ups with people just via email, and uh, that was really good and really positive. Um, I did look at my mentoring report, and again, I'm just really excited about this new tool that we have available to us through our company. It's very, very easy to maneuver and really helpful. It's information that I'm really excited to see, and it's fun to see the growth in my business and how that's impacting um, my reports, I guess I can say. Um, I guess I would be leading by example by doing what I am encouraged to do by my mentors, and that is seven different things. Um, and a lot of them have to do with the, the questions I just answered in terms of how many customers or how many presentations they did, that sort of, that sort of thing. Um, I think that makes a lot of sense, and I think sometimes we try to overcomplicate things when really it's just a simple answer of doing you know a few things over and over again and getting really good at those things. So um, I spent some time this morning looking at those and just uh, refreshing my memory and I'm going to try and do that on a consistent basis, just reminding myself what I need to be doing to make this work for my life and to see a lot of growth over the next year. I um, had a really good day in terms of um, just product productivity, I would say. Um, I, I continue to listen to the the coaching that we're um, listening to. I, I'm going to try and spend some time on a website that we were given tomorrow night. I have a lot of time tomorrow night, so I'm excited to do that. And um, I really missed our, our conference call this week. We have a weekly time where we meet with our mentors. And if you're unable to go to the, the meeting where you're sitting down with them, then you can do it over a conference call. So uh, we didn't have that this week because uh, those people were out of town, which is awesome for them. I know that was time very well spent, and they are still recouping from that. But um, I think we really missed that this week. It's just a great time, and I always get off of that call feeling very encouraged, very inspired to change, even if it's um, you know as a reaction to something that I've heard negative or something that I've realized about myself that... I need to change. I just always come off of that feeling like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to change this about myself. I'm going to make this better. And I think that says a lot about uh, this challenge in general and just the the amount of um, time and energy and passion that's behind it. So um, I guess that's really my main thoughts on what we're listening to is, is just that it's really good and... Um, I'm looking forward to having another coaching session soon. I don't really have much else to share tonight. I'm doing really well. Uh, today I made a lot of phone calls, and I did something that I was really excited about for myself, and that was um, I didn't set aside a time to make phone calls. I called people when I was thinking about them. That's something that um, I heard last night from someone and they just said, they shared that, um, you know, don't necessarily set aside a, call, a time to call people. You know, if you think of them and you have a minute, go ahead and call them. And so that was a really good thing. And I feel a lot more comfortable doing that. And it is a lot easier when you do it, when you're thinking about it, rather than knowing that it's coming and just having that fear of rejection <laughs> rising up inside of you. And I think I'm getting better at managing that. I really don't feel any, um, I guess I shouldn't say any. I feel disappointment when I'm rejected, but it's not a reflection of my self-esteem or anything like that. It's really more just disappointment that 
it's not going to work for that person or they're not interested. And um, I think there is always just a little bit of frustration, especially when it's someone that I was really excited about sharing this business with. But, you know, you're going to have that. And I'm really glad that I have the opportunity to grow as a person and um, mature in that way in my life. That's something I really needed. So uh, I really don't, again, I don't have a lot of thoughts. It's been a good day. Set those appointments today and that felt really good and had a great conversation with one of my um, future business builders today at work. And uh, it's just gonna be a great week. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. I have my first follow up with um, a customer who's interested in growing her business in September. Um, she has sons who are very busy with athletics in this month, and so that will all slow down in a couple of weeks, and hopefully we can get her rolling, and uh, that will be an awesome, awesome thing. I think she's going to be great. So it's been a good day, and I am excited for tomorrow morning. So that's it for tonight.